true French style is all about creating amazing outfits from timeless pieces. And in today's episode, I'm sharing 10 amazing trends that will form a great foundation to any French inspired fashion wardrobe. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. The French just seem to have this less is more attitude to fashion and I really love it. And I think it also resonates quite well with a lot of us at the moment who are planning on shopping more intentionally, building up a great capsule wardrobe and just being a little bit more mindful when it comes to our fashion purchases. So today I wanted to shine the spotlight on French style so that you too can create your very own French inspired outfits. Okay, I've talked a lot on my channel about wide leg trousers and man style trousers that we all know have been trending for quite some time now. But there's also this year a very big return to cigarette style trousers and jeans. So you know the type, those that are slightly tapered, they're also slightly cropped, they give the opportunity for your shoes to shine and really get seen because after all with wide leg trousers our shoes have been kind of swallowed up and hidden for the last couple of seasons. So I'm particularly loving these cigarette style pants because they do give your shoes a chance to shine. They are, as I said, slightly tapered. They're very flattering on most body types. So if you're petite and you've struggled with oversized trousers, then you're going to love this particular style. Now, as we all know, the cigarette style is very French. And the great thing is that because this style is trending, it just means that there are going to be more available for you to choose from. So I love the fact that this is a style that's happening for 2024. And another trend that is happening is peplums. And of course, if you're wearing a little more volume on top to try and balance your proportions, it's always a good idea to wear something a little bit more fitted on the bottom. And that's where these cigarette style pants and jeans really come into their own. Now, next up is the color burgundy. And I know this can be a little bit of a scary color for some of you. It's quite a strong, rich wine inspired color but it's also a very timeless, classic, sophisticated color. And instead of thinking about wearing burgundy top to toe, maybe think about it as an accent color, just to give your outfits a little bit of something extra. So maybe a burgundy purse or handbag or a burgundy scarf or perhaps some heels or even a jacket. So Think about burgundy as a beautiful accent color this year and as we probably know it's a color that the French have loved and enjoyed for many many years and as I said it is a timeless stylish sophisticated 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 color so one that looks beautiful and it also pairs beautifully with the next trend and that is the color gray. So the French are known for wearing gray and anything from a sort of a light gray mal to a deeper, richer, traditional gray. Now, of course, gray is a neutral. It's a really versatile neutral and it's a little bit of a change from the beiges and taupes and camely neutrals that we've been wearing over the last few seasons. And it's also a beautiful color to wear with almost anything. So a little gray cardi will work back with anything you own. I am seeing more and more gray jeans, gray sort of dark gray denim jeans this year as well. Gray is also beautiful worn back with white, like a crisp white t-shirt or tank or shirt. So there's a lot that you can do with gray. It can be dressed up, worn more casually, and it's also as flattering and timeless as black is. So think about a neutral this year being gray. Obviously, it's a really French favorite as well, which is why it's on this list. But a good gray is a great neutral to add into your wardrobe. And at this point, I just want to jump in and thank the sponsor of today's episode, which is Sleep and Glow. Now, I was first introduced to the wonderful Sleep and Glow pillow by the lovely Lisa Duncan here on YouTube. Now, Lisa talked about using the Sleep and Glow pillow about I think it was a couple of years ago. So I've been intrigued since then. So super excited to get my hands on a pillow myself. Now, 
The Sleep and Glow Pillow is all about helping to avoid you getting those kind of wrinkles and lines on your face that you get from kind of just regular sleeping on a regular pillow. Now, my boyfriend recently took a photo of me. He thought it was hilarious. I didn't think it was so funny, but it was a photo of me first thing in the morning. I was fast asleep, lying on my regular pillow, and my goodness, my face was completely smushed into my pillow. That photo kind of got me thinking about Lisa and her mentioning the Sleep and Glow pillow. So I was super excited to get this and I absolutely love it. So essentially what it does, it is a memory foam pillow. It comes with its very own uh, pillow case here because obviously it's a kind of an interesting shape. So it comes with its own pillowcase and fun fact, it's made from eucalyptus trees. So Australian eucalyptus trees. But essentially it has these two cradle areas where there's kind of nothing there. So what it does is you put your face here on the kind of widest part of the pillow and then essentially your face kind of floats in mid-air. So it it basically stops all of that kind of smushing and scrunching of your face because there's sort of nothing there but your head and your face and your neck and your shoulders are really well supported. The biggest difference that I've noticed is not waking up in the morning with those vertical lines on my face. I also have a discount code to share with you to save 10% off your order and that is just Style Insider. So I urge you to go and take a look at the Sleep and Glow pillow, especially if like me you were finding that you were really smushing your face into your pillow and waking up with some lines that kind of shouldn't be there, then this is probably well worth giving a go. So as I said, I have that discount code. I will leave a link to Sleep and Glow in the description box below and definitely take advantage of it. It is, it's a real winner. Oh, and it also supports your neck, your back. It's um, a comfy pillow and that's probably a biggie for me as well. The last thing I want to do is not be comfortable when I'm sleeping. It's comfy and it's also protecting my face and I need all the help I can get these days. Now, I spoke in a recent video about quiet luxury or old money, whatever you want to call it. I don't like the, the name, but essentially this style of dressing goes very much hand in hand with French style of classic pieces that are unobstructed with a lot of detail, logo free, simple classic minimalist styling, which is what I prefer to call it. So this is very much a trend that is taking over 2024. So if you do like sort of paired back more minimalist outfits, that's definitely something that is happening this year and definitely very much a French style. And the way the French really kind of stamp their own signature on this type of dressing is with accessories. So they will perhaps use some statement earrings or a statement scarf to just give a little bit of a fashion look and feel to a real minimalist style outfit. So if you love this particular kind of minimalist way of dressing, that's great. It is French inspired, but then think about taking it a little bit further and adding just a couple of well thought out accessories to just give it that little bit of extra French flair. Now, whenever I think of French style, I can't help but thinking of beautiful velvet thick chokers as a kind of a statement piece. And chokers are very much a happening look this year, whether you opt for something that's a little bit finer or there are a lot of rosettes that are being worn as chokers this year. So chokers are back. But I do think you have to be careful if your neck is not your favorite body part, then wearing a choker is going to draw attention to that area. So that's the only word of warning that I have. Now the French are also well known for wearing stripes. So think about the classic Breton striped tee. But another print that they are also known for is plaid. Now plaid or checked, whatever you like to call it, has been a mainstay of the 2024 runway shows. So adding 
a little plaid to your wardrobe is going to easily give you a bit of a French sort of inspired fix as well. So take a look at some of the plaid pieces on offer. It's also an easy way to give some of your more minimal style outfits a little bit of interest. Now your classic loafers are definitely a mainstay of any French wardrobe and so loafers have been having a moment and enjoying some time in the spotlight over the last couple of seasons and this year they're not going anywhere and what is interesting is there seems to be a loafer for everyone so if you're not into that really chunky lug sole style loafer there's more of a refined paired back style loafer as well so anything goes this year when it comes to loafers so there really is something for everyone and they look great worn with the tapered sort of cigarette style pants and jeans that I spoke about earlier also they work well with man style pants they also look great with shorts with skirts with cute little ankle socks there are a myriad of ways to wear them and they definitely say French to me so if you are a fan of loafers then it's never too late to really get onto the loafer trend okay so next up is the classic French Chanel inspired boucle jacket now these jackets just shout French to me they are timeless they are a classic style they have been trending for a couple of seasons now and they are not going anywhere so if you love this particular style of jacket you know you're going to be able to wear it and love it for years and years and I think that that is definitely where we are all thinking a little bit more consciously as I said earlier about fashion and so these pieces are are on this list for that very reason because yes they've got a sort of a French style and flair to them but they're also timeless classics that will be great in a capsule wardrobe and that doesn't mean that you'll wear them indefinitely it may mean that you'll have a bit of a break from them for a season or two but then when you can come you can come back to them and enjoy them all over again so these beautiful jackets always look they look great they always look elegant sophisticated and best of all they are timeless and of course I couldn't put a video like this together without mentioning trench coats and I feel like a little bit of a broken record but trench coats are again just a French classic and I think all of us over the last few years have definitely caught on we have dabbled in trenches even I have I was not a fan of trench coats for a very long time and I even recently purchased one that's a kind of a cropped trench so I've jumped on board the trench bandwagon and I'm really pleased that I have now they're not something that I wear all the time but they are that final layering piece that despite what I'm wearing underneath it can create a a little bit of a sense of style and almost pull an outfit together there have been times when I've raced out of the house just wearing my gym gear some leggings and a tank top some trainers and I've thrown my trench over the top crossbody bag sunglasses and I actually look somewhat put together even though I'm kind of really not and that in my mind is the beauty of a good trench coat so trench coats are classic French styling that will really help create or I should probably say finish off a number of outfits now last but not least is an absolute French classic and that is ballet flats but this year they have a little bit of a twist on the classic Chanel style ballet, ballet flat and that is then more of a Mary Jane style so I think that this is just adding a little bit of a modern edge to a, a classic style and it's still very much French inspired but it just gives your outfits a as I said just a little bit more of a modern look and feel and again I particularly love these ballet flats because over the spring summer we saw them in sort of more mesh styles over the winter we will see more sort of covered in styles but over the course of the year we are going to see a lot of different variations of this kind of Mary Jane style ballet flat they are practical, they're sophisticated, they're comfortable and if you know me you know I like to be com comfortable as well as looking good so 
these particular style of ballet flats are definitely where it's at so if you haven't dipped your toe quite literally into this trend yet then maybe take a closer look anyway that's it from me today i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did i'd love you to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you in the next one bye for now